Sakar, you know, if you guys get a chance to avenge your only Big East loss tomorrow against St. John's, what do you think you guys need to do better than you did the, fir the first game? Uh, first of all, I just think we got to compete better. You know, uh, the first time, you know, we went down big early, and then I feel like, you know, we kind of sort of gave up. Uh, there at the end, you know, so I just feel like the first thing we got to do is compete and obviously got to bring our defense, you know, and we, we don't know how our offense is going to be, uh, but defense is one thing that can always uh, be accounted for, you know, so that's definitely the first thing that we, we got to uh, be ready to do. Scar, how did you kind of establish your defense uh, throughout your career and was that something you always uh, emphasized like uh, back in high school, even as a youth player? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Like one of my high school coaches, uh, Dave Thorson. He definitely implemented it me at a young age, uh, especially my freshman year going in. He uh, used to have me guarding the best players and uh, you know, like picking up the full court and things like that because that's one thing that he emphasized as for his program was defense. So, you know, I just carried that with me as long as my, my basketball career is going on. You know, it's definitely helped me a lot here. And I was going to say here, when you're picking up those best players on a Indiana or St. John's or Georgetown, wherever it is, you take a special pride in that. Yeah, definitely, exactly, you know, because those guys, we have terrific players in this country, you know, I, I, I love, you know, having the chance to be able to guard the best players in the country, because uh, I know it's going to be a challenge, and, you know, they, so they're going to make some tough shots, but, you know, I just got to keep, keep working, you know, just make it as tough as possible for them. Just talk about Pfizer form and playing there and how well you guys kept it. You're unbeaten here at home and the advantages you have here playing here in your new arena. All right. Yeah, Pfizer form has been a, definitely a great advantage for us. Obviously, we're undefeated. Uh, one thing that's been good for us, obviously, our home crowd. You know, those guys, everybody's been great. And having the opportunity to have the student section on both sides, I think, has been an advantage for us. You know, and uh, we've been playing well, you know, so we have a lot of momentum. Uh, I feel that, you know, teams uh, know that going in, you know, so and they know it's going to be a tough environment. Uh, so, you know, obviously I can't thank the fans enough, you know, because without them, they're, they're, they're definitely part of their, our success there. Sakar, how do you break up two big games in one week? I mean, you guys have done a pretty good job of it, but you, I guess you know what the task is ahead of you. Right, right. Definitely just by not looking ahead, you know, taking the one game at a time. You know, obviously today all we're focused on is just having a great practice and preparing for St. John's. And then after that, you know, we'll work on Villanova. But for now, we're just worried about having a great practice today. And when tomorrow comes, we're working about executing and playing hard and just going out there and getting a W. When you guys are on a win streak, and it seems like everything's clicking for you guys. How do you avoid complacency or being content? That way you don't lose your edge. Uh, just having our, our, our um, end goal in mind. You know, obviously, uh, we're having success. But just like I said, taking it one game at a time, as well as having an end goal and knowing that uh, we want to make the NCAA tournament and hopefully win a Big East championship, you know. So uh, just having that end goal in mind, not not having that um, complacency, like you said, you know, because uh, once you do that and that's when teams start to fall off, we still got a lot of the season ahead of us. I think we still got, what, nine games left. You know, it's momentum. All the games is really about momentum, you know, so it's easier if we're, what, 8-1, 9-1. and one, nine and one, We could lose the next five games, whatever. But, you know, so just keeping our heads on the swivel and uh, just staying hungry. As teammates, I'm sure you guys feel like brothers. But what is it like actually playing with brothers on the team? How's your it's definitely, oh, it's definitely great. You know, those guys are great players. Uh, Sam over there is one of the, obviously one of the best forwards in the country. You know, and uh, and Joey's definitely proven that he's one of the best freshmen in the country. You know, so they make the game easier for us. You know, it's a lot of fun playing with those guys. They have a lot of similar games. You know, they, and they make it fun for me out there. You know, we laugh. We do a lot of laughing and joking out there. We're serious, but we have we crack some jokes once in a while. So it's definitely fun. You know, those guys are terrific players. Did they ever? Did they ever fight though? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, actually, they don't really fight. Honestly, you know, um, it's just more of a, you know encourage each other. But they don't really do much fighting. You know, it's really just laughing and jokes. You know, they're really the same people. You know, I would say Joey uh, cracks a little bit more jokes than Sam, uh, but um, yeah, they're, they're good guys. Sakar, so you and Theo, that's kind of that Minnesota connection. Do you guys take pride in that and the defense that you, you have brought to the team this year? Um, yeah, definitely. You know, obviously Theo is one of the best shot blockers, or the best shot blocker in the, in the Big East, you know, and one of the best in the country. Uh, you know, so just making our, our mark on the team, you know, obviously if we're not having a good offense, nice, we, one thing you can always do, like I said, is just effort, you know, that's defense, you know, just going out there playing hard and trying to do what we do to uh, help the team. How have you seen him improve this year? Because you've been with the program and seen him. You made your improvements. How's he improved? He's improved a lot. You know, just I think it's for him. It's just really his confidence, just knowing that he can go out there and uh, impose his will on, on other people. You know, so obviously he's always been a pretty good defensive player. But his offensive game has come along a lot. You know, I've, I got a chance in the summer to work out with him a lot. You know, he works extremely hard. 
Uh, he wants to be great. You know, he's in there putting extra work in. Uh, you know, so he's he's doing the little things to get better. And now that he's having that confidence, he had the success. He knows that he can go out there and perform any given night. You guys, you guys work out together up in the cities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we work out sometimes in my high school and one of the other little um, gyms uh, close to our house. You know, we work out and do some 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 different drills, pick and roll stuff, and things like that. You know, so like I say, he's a hard worker. You know, he's gonna continue to get better. With St. John's being your only loss, is there kind of still a sour taste in your mouth with that one? Uh, definitely, you know, because that was a big loss since the worst loss since Indiana. You know, I think this one was almost. I mean, Indiana's obviously passed us, you know, but uh, St. John's in our conference, you know, and they they definitely got us, you know. So that's something that we're looking forward to the game. You know, it's definitely uh, something that, that we got in the back of our heads. We know uh, what happened the first game. We're just gonna use it to feel our fire. Being a top 10 team, is this something that the team embraces? It's something you guys try not paying attention to, or what's kind of the approach there? Uh, honestly, we don't really think about it. You know, rankings, we all know rankings don't really matter. You know, what matters most is how you, where you end at the end of, end of the year. You know, so obviously, top 10 is being great. It's great for our program. Uh, like, it looks great. You know, when you watch the TV, you got the number 10 on that, <laughs> close to your jersey or close to the, um, the scoreboard or whatever. But uh, like I say, rankings don't really mean much. Uh, like I said, we just have an end goal that we're looking forward to. You know, we just got to keep working towards it. What kinds of things are you going to have to pay attention to with St. John's? Mm. Uh, obviously, their, their transition, they're one of the fastest teams in transition uh, in the Big East. Uh, these guys can really shoot, you know, so they have a lot of, uh, they're a great one-on-one -on -one, uh, basketball team, you know, so they got guys that can break you down off the dribble and then elite shooters around them. So that's one thing we have to be able to contain uh, as well. Like I said, transition, um, and we have to just uh, worry about ourselves too, not turn the ball over. And uh, just bringing that defensive edge and just having that um, competitive spirit. You know, you've had to guard Marcus in practice, one on one in the summertime. He's kind of perfected that step back jumper. <laughs> yeah. Like, how hard in that move, that move in particular, how hard yeah. is that to defend and why, why is he so good at that? Um, obviously, yeah, Marcus just works hard. He works at it. You know, you never know what he's going to do with that step back, you know, because he's such a – he's actually a really good driver too as well. He has that Florida game down. So uh, once you try to get into him and he starts driving, you think he's going to drive, but then he just hits you with that quick step back and it creates space, you know. So And he's a lead shooter as well. So that's what makes it tough to guard. You don't really know what he's going to do. You know, he's great with the hesitation as well. So he'll pull it back and the hesitate and go to the rim. So it's, it's definitely tough to guard, obviously. Man, I don't know how other teams do it for 40 minutes, but <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, you know, it's just something that he's perfected. You know, that's just something that he's worked on with his brothers. I know he's worked, he works out with his brothers a lot. Uh, you know, they've done, a, they've done a terrific job with him. You know, just having that implemented in his game. That's it, Cigar. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you really share your feelings on Sam now. <laughs> <laughs> so do you go in this game with a little more juice, a little more? Revenge factor in this one? Yeah, I think so. Uh, that last game, you know, didn't leave a good taste in our mouth. So we just got to learn from what we didn't do right in the first game and obviously execute that a lot better in this coming game. What's the biggest thing that you have to do differently in this game? Uh, I think a big part of it was taking care of the ball and then our transition defense. Uh, those two factors killed us in the first game and um, it really showed. So we just got to clean up those areas and I think it'll be a better game than it was. What is it about playing at Fiserv Forum for you guys this season? Is it because the new arena, the freshness? You know, why do you guys seem to do so well? I think uh, credit to our fans. They show up every night when we have a home game, and they bring that energy that gives us a home court advantage, and we use that to our advantage. It gives us a lot of energy on the floor when they're when they're getting into it. So, um, obviously, the new arena is part of it too. But um, it's just a lot different than Bradley Center. I think it just gives us a true home court advantage. Sam, there's no secret you guys want to win a Big East championship, but how do you lock in this week and do what you need to do when you have a big week ahead of you? Right, we just got to take it one day at a time, one game at a time, and um, just keep getting better every single day in practice, um, learning what we have to do to beat St. John's or put us in the best position to win a game. So that's our mindset each and every day. We're not looking too far ahead and just taking it one day at a time. Sam, why do you think the defense has improved? So much is it, uh, you know, adding Joey, Theo's emergence, uh, Sakai. What is it? All those things. What's happened? I think collectively, there's just more buy-in on that end of the floor, and obviously, there's been big improvements from Theo, and then we added in Joey and Brendan, who give us a lot of length and can guard multiple positions. But overall, the buy-in in the off-season and understanding that last year that's what killed us, and knowing that if we just played defense, we can be a great team, we can beat anyone, and we showed that so far, and we just got to keep it rolling. Is this something you guys like? were talking about even in the fall before you got started? Yeah, of course. That was the biggest focus of our offseason was that end of the floor, and uh, we've done a great job thus far, and we just got to keep doing that. 
is this a dream come true not only playing with your brother on the same team but the season you guys are having so far yeah i mean this is the goal all along this is why i chose marquette i knew it was headed in the right direction and um, being a big part of it is pretty special and then obviously adding my brother into the mix is awesome so you know we growing up as kids this is what we dreamed of and now it's come to reality and we just like i keep saying we just got to keep doing it You've been a part of a lot of winning teams. How do you keep a competitive edge to avoid getting content and complacent? Right. Um, I think it goes back to what I said before, just coming each and every day and wanting to get better, wanting to improve something on your game individually and then collectively as a team and um, not looking too far ahead and just taking it one day at a time. Marvin Clark kind of had his way. What makes him so tough <clears throat> to defend? Uh, well, he's, he's he's got good size and he's very strong and he can shoot it and go to the rim. So. He's very versatile on each end of the floor, and I, he's tough to guard because he plays the five position, and a lot of teams guard him with the five man. So um, he uses that to his advantage, and that's what makes him a tough player. So what makes St. John's so tough because they switch everything defensively, and they you know they play five out on offense. Is that what makes them kind of a hard matchup? Yeah, I mean they're very talented um, on both ends of the floor. I mean they're long, they got long arms, very athletic, and. Um, they disturb a lot of things that the other team is trying to do, and that's what makes them a really good team. How exciting is it for not just you guys, but the Marquette women as well, the fact that both the men and women's teams are clicking this year? Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, you know, the women have sustained that for the last couple of years, and um, we're just catching up to them. So it's pretty cool to have both of us right up there in the mix with everyone, and um, they're having a great year. Credit to them.